Okay, so again, I'm um, sorry I can't go into much detail about all of these opportunities, but um, I was very grateful to attend. Um, oops, I'll do it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, to go uh, be selected for gold. So, as you may know, gold stands for Guiding Overseas Linked with Development, and it's aimed for 18 to 30 year olds who are members of Girl Guide in the UK. Um, and they work, uh, six people are selected to go to a country uh, where there is guiding, for example, uh, Ghana, um, which is where I went, or Aruba, Cambodia, Peru, um, I've forgotten half of them, but yeah, <laughs> there's eight projects every year, and it's a sustainable project. So uh, the members of Girl Guiding UK are working in collaboration uh, with the host organisations to um, give them skills, uh, also uh, training as well, for them to take on board and develop in order to be able to grow their, their guiding organisations. Um, so I was uh, selected to go to Ghana, and uh, we were training adult leaders and girls. Um, we uh, worked closely with members of the Girl Guide, Ghana Girl Guide Association, uh, to promote leadership, communication, personal development, empowerment, teamwork and games. And it was a lot of fun to be part of that and to experience such a vibrant culture. Uh, we were given gifts of um, knickers of kente cloth uh, from uh, the Ghana Girl Guide Association in the Takaradi region, which is in the southwest on the coast. And everybody was so friendly and welcoming and uh, the culture is so bright and colourful, so um, I'll just show you a few pictures now of what we got up to. So we played quite a lot of games and uh, a lot of teamwork activities. It was a very informal training experience that we did. Um, each of the projects for Gold are very different each year, and they usually run for between three and five years. So <coughs> we were the second year of the project. Um, so um, it was uh, yeah, great to sample like, the local culture and immerse ourselves in Ghana. Uh, the top picture on the right um, is called banku, which is basically like corn that's been ground down uh, with boiling water and there's a spicy tomato sauce. And traditionally you eat with just one hand in Ghana, so that was quite a challenge to, to try that. So <laughs> it was uh, really interesting and there were a lot of lizards everywhere. It was great to also... Um, work with some of the girls as well, even though the main focus for our project was uh, to help with the adult leaders. And um, this picture on the bottom right was, we were told that we were going to a one school because in Ghana, guiding is organised by the schools. And uh, suddenly we, got, we arrived at the school and then we were directed to a minibus and they said, right, we're going to another school now. So it, you definitely have to expect the unexpected, as many people who've been on the project before. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so um, another um, it, really exciting opportunity which I was selected for was the Helen Story Seminar, and that took place at Our Chalet uh, in Switzerland. So, it's an environmental seminar for um, women aged between 18 and 25. It's open to all uh, guide and scout organisations uh, from around the world. Um, it's focusing on leadership. And at the end of uh, the week-long seminar, um, it's an opportunity to develop an environmental project uh, that we uh, then um, take part in and lead in our own countries. Uh, so I'm uh, at the moment organising a, a garden um, for increasing biodiversity uh, in the local area around the guide hut where I volunteer. So um, these are all the uh, different representatives. Uh, in this picture alone, there are no fewer than 25 countries represented. So it was a very exciting <coughs> opportunity to uh, meet people from all across the world. And um, everybody just clicked really well. It was such a nice experience. Um, and there's some more pictures after here, which um, sort of showcase some of the activities that we did. So we had like um, building igloos, having a campfire. Uh, it was so nice in this picture that uh, some of the women had never experienced snow before, uh, so it was nice to, to see that with them, and they were so excited that they had to stop one of the workshops. So again, it was a, a really nice experience, and um, one of my favourite parts was the international <coughs> evening, which you can see in the top right-hand corner, where um, we brought things from our own countries, 
Uh, so you can just see the Ukrainian flag and just behind there you might be able to see some, uh, some fudge in the sh Scottish shortbread uh, for the UK. So um, yeah, it was great fun and uh, so many lovely people as part of Gold and Helen Story. So thank you very much for listening.